Live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the latest on my newscast I'm willing to tell you about. So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest stuff. What's up? I'm JL. You chilling? All right, let's get started. You can see I'm feeling a little different because all these allergies outside. I mean, this is springtime. The good thing about springtime is it has pretty weather. And the bad thing about it is it has severe weather and all these allergies that you don't even, won't even bother with. And it makes you miserable even while you drive. I mean, if you sneeze and the next thing you know you can't see and then you get into some misfortune or mishap, which you don't want to even know. But, um, yeah. <coughs> but, I can't wait till summertime where all these allergies can go away. That's the good thing about summertime. The bad thing about it is it's so hot as hell outside. And now, uh, what I'm really wanting to talk to you about today is, uh, I went to this vacant lot by, uh, Jordan Lane and near Oakwood Avenue and by Papa Jack's. And I recorded that section and I read on the newspaper earlier that other day that they said they're going to build a Walmart neighborhood market by here. I mean, trust me, I saw it on the paper for myself. I mean, they turned all these houses down and that, uh... Tunnel Max building over there by the light, it's gonna go away too, I think. Just because they build another Walmart. There's another Walmart out there by Sparkman, which I live by also. So the question is, do we need another Walmart on every block? I mean the the bigger Walmart at Sparkman got a tire store, the gas station, everything. Neighborhood market won't have any of that. Now uh another thing, uh down Jordan Lane, before you get to university between McDowell Avenue is I think they're building another Dollar General. I mean, it looks like it. I don't know. Where the Japanese takeout used to be? Yeah. Do we need another? Do we need Dollar General every block? It's just like wasting money or it's just like sucking uh, business out of the building. I mean, that's totally unfair, but uh, that's like you have to get used to it. Now, what? Well, I'm going to show you what I'm really talking about about that vacant lot and I'm going to talk to you about it. And I was reporting over there, and I'm going to show you to it. All right, let's go to it. All right, let's go. Hey, what's up, everyone? This is JR right here. Um, you see, I'm close to Oakwood and Jordan Lane, and the uh, Oakwood Road right here. The convenience store is right by my house, and you can see this little site right here. I read in the newspaper one time that this is the future side of a Walmart neighborhood market. Okay, the reason I'm telling this story and why it caught my eyes because, for one, we already got enough Walmarts around here. Huntsville just gets weirder and weirder every year. First they destroyed a pond, empty business at Madison, and now at this site they're going to build another Walmart here. I mean, do you know how many Walmarts we got around this Huntsville area, including Madison's? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven Walmarts around this Huntsville area, and this size is probably going to be number eight. I don't know what's going to happen. Do, didn't we get enough Walmarts already? I mean, is there a good reason why we should have a Walmart right here by my house? I mean, it's just uh, a few blocks away. I could walk every time I need some groceries from Walmart. I could just walk by here. Unless I'm, you know. But this is weird right here. I mean, if it's going to be a Walmart, I mean, it's probably not going to be that big. It's probably, I mean, there are houses nearby also. I mean... I'll be really surprised if they take all these houses out just to build that Walmart and then many of these neighbors are going to be affected and some of them are probably going to be mad. And destroying these good homes and good memories just for a uh, little bitty uh, market doesn't, just doesn't make good sense to me. We already have enough Walmarts around here. We don't need another one. So please. 
If you think this is a good idea that uh, if they should tear all these houses down right here on Charlotte Lane, Charlotte Circle, whatever, um, just uh, give your opinion on should I build Walmart right here or not? Because really, it's just pretty stupid. Well, this is the uh, newscast I'm going to end right here. But until next time, I'm Jedog. I'm out. Peace.